Well, welcome back with the forecast. I know, a little late, but better late than never. Um, apparently, uh, Maine just got done getting blasted with winter weather. Um, but that should be out by tomorrow. Tonight into tomorrow. Maybe some flurries in the morning. Um, but, as you see, there's a new system coming in. And that's that system here. Um, I am expecting to see impacts with a front from the northern system coming in um, soon after midnight. We'll likely have streams with that. And there's the potential for severe weather with this blob. Keep that in mind. Mostly an overnight threat, it seems like. Um, it'll be mostly a wind and hail threat. Maybe some tornadoes. Um, there's that winter system with Nebraska... Dakotas and Minnesota, bits of Iowa. Wyoming's getting blasted with some snow too. Um, and then there's flurries all over the Rocky Mountains as a 4.25 or 4.3 magnitude earthquake hits Iceland. Um, that's saying 4.2. More rain and snow for Pacific Northwest. Keep in mind the long-range models have a whole bunch of snow blasting the Pacific Northwest uh, through this month, um, which does include Seattle getting blasted with snow. Same with Portland, so keep that in mind. Next will be Hawaii, uh, which is having rain. May see some snow in the mountains, and that actually does support that. Um, So, there's that there, and may see a flash flood warning pop-up for the big island with that thing pans out. And here we are with Alaska, and that's a big system coming from Russia. Um, but yeah, these things are going to be nasty, nasty systems, for sure. Now, for snowfall accumulation. It's not that bad for Alaska. Um, it's pretty dry for Alaska standards. There is quite a bit of accumulation on Kea, actually. Um, see that purple? That's 5 to 8 inches. That's 5 to 8 inches at the peak of Mauna Kea. That's quite a bit for Hawaii. Um, now we'll get to the Pacific Northwest. Well, the west coast, and it'll go east and then backwards with the temps. Um, there are some accumulations popping up for the Dakotas, Wyoming, and Nebraska. Um, and then there's an accumulation coming into play for the northeast, mostly Maine. Um, now we get to the temperature. Looking at 37 Montpelier, which is interesting, but... Yeah, that cold's going to really dive down. Um, we're already looking at negatives coming back into um, play with the northern parts of America. Looking at 55 for Mo parts of Montana. We got into like mid-60s today. It was nice. 4 degrees in Jackson. Um, 43 Vancouver, which is interesting. But yeah, 59 in Los Angeles. It was warmer here than it is in Los Angeles at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're not done yet. I would still have Hawaii, which I see 73, 74, a 44 on this island, which is interesting. There's a 62, but yeah, we're definitely getting some 20s, maybe some teens coming into play for parts of Hawaii. And yeah, you heard me right, teens for Hawaii. Um, six, uh, 16 below for the northern tip of Alaska. Um, 35 below. 35 below for Northwest Territories in Canada. There's a 27 below, 33 below, 30 below for the Hudson Coast. There's a 37 below for Northern Quebec. Um, Nunavut has a 28 below. 
What about these islands up here? 29 below, 21 below, 8 below, 13 below, a lot of below. Negative 4, negative 3 below, there's a negative 7, negative 17 for Churchill. And yeah, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Uh, bye.